Welcome to the 123heli.com video pre-hover. <clears throat> okay, before you power on your radio, make sure that all your switches are towards the back end of the radio. Make sure your uh, throttle is all the way down. And go ahead and power it on. And uh, slide your battery in. Connect it up. Let it initialize. Okay, once it's initialized, slide your canopy on. Okay, now the uh, first thing you want to do is verify your controls. Uh, your left and right should move your swash plate the same. Left tilt it, should tilt to the left and to the right. Just verify that's operational and the direction is correct. Fore and aft should move the swash plate fore and aft. That's forward and backward and your tail left and right the, the le it takes a little bit of study to see how that tail movement works but when you move the stick to the left the mechanism should move out to change the pitch and to the right the mechanism should move in to change the pitch Okay, once you have that verified, we're ready to try some vertical practice. And what you want to do is, uh, obviously I have this in a garage here. Uh, you can do it inside a garage or any place that uh, has a you know, pretty good amount of room. Uh, or outside, uh, you want to be on an absolutely calm day, maybe one or two miles an hour of wind or in a sheltered area. And the key on this is to make sure your surface that you're on is uh, smooth, like a cement surface, um, driveway cement. Um, don't do it on grass or dirt. Um, asphalt is, uh, can be a little bit grabby. It can kind of grab the, uh, the, the training gear a little bit. But uh, it'll work, but you've got to be a little bit careful on that. And uh, what you want to do is practice your vertical movement a little bit. And you just want to... Spin it up, bring up your RPM, and just lift it off the ground just a little bit. And what's going to happen is, as you, as you learn it and, uh, and it moves out of your way, you always want to just go back to get centered. Go back and just bring, that, bring your helicopter back to the home plate, so to speak. And just, um, you don't want it to get too far away from you. Just bring it back to center until you get used to that movement. Just pull it up. Wind it back down. And then bring it back to center. It's just, uh, it's kind of laborious, but it's part of the training process. And that's just to practice your vertical stick movement here for your up and down. Just pull it up. shut it down. And you're going to be doing this probably, I don't know about hundreds of times, but dozens of times just to get used to that feel, that movement. And that's for your vertical practice. And then what you're going to do is start working in your tail control. And what you want to do is uh, get the helicopter off the ground just slightly so it's real light and still the skids are still touching the ground. And then you want to practice your your, your tail movement. And you want to try to your ultimate goal is to always keep the tail pointed at you. So here we go, spin it up, let it get light, 
and, and just light and just rotate that tail. Okay, keep bringing it back to home. And just practice that tail. Move it left and right just to get the feel of what the tail movement is like as it gets lighter. Practice that left right movement. Bring it back to home if you need to. You know, your space will be limited even if you're outdoors, you only have so much cement, unless you're on a, like a schoolyard or something. And uh, just practice that. Just get used to that tail movement and don't let it get off the ground. Just get it where the helicopter is very light on the, on the, uh, the training gear. And just practice that left and right movement and the vertical movement. And that will work your left hand. There we go one more time. Once you get comfortable with that tail movement and how it reacts to your control inputs, uh, then you can go ahead and start working on uh, sliding it around with the, uh, with the right stick. So obviously right, left, fore and aft. And um, I'll just uh, demonstrate that real quick. Again, you want to, don't let the skids get off the ground. Uh, of course you'll you know, have to get used to that. It might lift off a little bit and just bring it back down. And uh, just slide it around, try to bring it back to home. Okay, again, you're, when, what you need to be concentrating on is the tail control. Always keep it pointed towards you. And the reason for that is because that is how you're, you keep your fore, aft, left and right movements uh, oriented properly as you learn. Uh, once the tail gets 90 degrees to the side from you, your control inputs are completely wrong for what you're trying to learn. So that is why it's so important to keep that tail control. So first, so concentrate on your vertical movement and your tail position primarily and secondarily you can start working on your your moves, sliding it around with the left, right, fore and aft stick. Once you get comfortable with that, um, start moving into bringing the helicopter a little bit further up and um, we'll talk more about that in the, uh, in the hover video. Just remember to always bring it back home, and uh, that will give you some good practice. I guess we would call it sliding around on the training gear, and um, just practice that you know, a couple dozen times, and uh, you'll be ready to start hovering. Thanks for watching the 123heli.com video.